Man, thank God that Bronx Drill was mostly entertainment. Because as much as these dudes be caught lacking, we would not have any more music if it was actually on Demon Time and things was actually really going down. We wouldn't have no more rappers because these dudes get caught lacking like every day. Now, I keep saying this whenever it comes to any Bronx Drill rappers. New Hampshire, Delaware, Boston, Maine, New Jersey, Ohio, anywhere. If you a popping Bronx Joe rapper and you take your career serious, I think it's imperative that you make a good move and you stay out the way. Go find you an Airbnb, a hotel, an apartment, a house or whatever, somewhere in Delaware or something like that. Come back to the Bronx, come visit from time to time, probably twice a month. The two beautiful things about that is that one, it'll keep you more focused. You know, I know you want to hang out with your friends and stuff like that, but you have a career. You are a rapper. You're trying to make it out. And these rappers, I mean, they say they got money. They signed to these labels. I mean, you could bring some of your friends with you. Imagine you bringing all your hood homies down to Delaware or something like that. And y'all in a big Airbnb just making music, chilling with the females out there, just shopping, just enjoying life out the way. That's what life is about, not blowing up and getting money so you can stay where you've always been at. Who the hell want to get rich just to live in the projects and stay in the projects? It don't make no sense, man. But definitely, man, y'all should... You know, try to go to New Hampshire, Maine, wherever, Ohio, wherever. Go to a location where nobody really knows you like that. Or where people don't care too much to do anything to you, you know. <laughs> Shy K, a lot of people don't but like I don't him. think he got ops down in Delaware or, you know, down in Maryland or something like that. But uh, anyway, Shy K is walking around willy-nilly and he runs into AJ Watts. AJ does what all these other dudes do when they spin on ops. Um, he ups his camera and starts recording Homie, like it's a music video, like he's the greatest paparazzi ever. You ass case, you case, suck my. You ass case, what am I days? Suck my. Yellow. Like he's a photographer or something. Now, I'm not saying I wanted him to put hands on Shy Care or nothing like that, because I'm team stop the violence. But wouldn't it be smarter just to, you know, leave him alone or probably confront him personally? You yelling on camera, it might look like you're doing something, but the truth is, you're not really doing nothing. Anyway, Shy K goes on a response saying, Mercy, nigga. Wrote him all, mother nigga, I'm still, I'm still outside. That was a situation right there. Niggas be faking. Wrote him all, mother, you suck my nigga. Smoking on Naughty. You took on. I'm gonna try to get away. Still outside, never ran, never will. Niggas be fing him all day. I'm in his face, yo. Pretty much saying he's still outside. I guess he was on his friend's Instagram or something like that. <laughs> it is funny because bro was still outside. Now, I will say this, though. I'm going to give Shy K the W on this one, and I'm going to give AJ the L. AJ, bro, you, I need you to come help me record some of these podcasts, bro. I would definitely appreciate it. I could pay you in, um, you know, uh, Nick bags or dime bags or something like that. <laughs> but um, as far as Shy K taking the W, it is a W, but at the same time, Shy K, bro, you got to change how you move. You should not be able to get walked up on like that. Um, none of these random dudes should be able to get up on you like that. I'm not saying you the GOAT or you the biggest rapper ever. Or you like the ticket that's going to get everybody out. But your career has a lot of value and you are extremely talented. And if anything happens to you, that would be a tragedy. Digital thugs, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.